I recently did a video on changing the anode rods in these water tanks. A couple of things came up in the comments. One was that the, the bottom of the tank should have been drained out. Another thing was that this anode rod should not be going all the way to the bottom, touching the bottom. So I can put a camera inside and see what's on the bottom and just make sure that this rod is not touching the bottom of the tank. This should just come right off you. This is very easy. Take this off like this. Now you can see there that there's there's some pitting on this. This is collecting something too on the wires that join these these pieces. My concern was that this is not going to touch the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is put this probe in here. Incidentally, this has been turned off for uh, four or five hours or something. I've marked off on this probe. If I can push this into the tank by this much, that is the same length as the anode rod. So I'm taking the video right now. So we're recording. So I'm just going straight down. That mark there is where the current anode rod is. So let's see how far off the bottom we are. So that, if that makes it that far, then we're not touching the bottom. There's all the silt. So I'm going to go right and left. So we can see over here, all this build up of stuff in here. Oh, it's interesting. That's interesting. So, and then all this stuff, it surprises me that there's all this stuff. But you see all that crud in there? I don't think that's going to come out when we do a flush. It's like looking at a coral reef. And there is a pipe. Wow, look at the end of that. This is the end of the drain pipe. So that's why when you open the, the drain valve, it doesn't come out so fast because it's, it's all gunked up with this stuff. Based on what we saw inside, I'm taking a, a steel cable tie and I'm going to try and push this into the, the valve. I'm going to try and open this up and we'll just see what comes out. Okay, now it's, it's actually coming out a little bit faster. <laughs> So that's what's in the boiler right now. You know, if you didn't start taking this stuff out every year, it's going to be very difficult to clean. So that's just going to have to stay there. I hope you found that interesting. Give me the thumbs up if you like this and don't forget to subscribe and you can see more of the interesting things that I get up to on DIY with JC.